Hello everyone and welcome to this Unity Shader Graph tutorial. Uh, today we'll be working on uh, another custom node, which is the um, displacement UV uh, that we used in uh, our uh, uh, card back uh, tutorial. So I'll uh, explain a little bit how the uh, node will uh, it's working, and uh, then we'll uh, jump into the code and. Uh, make it so um, this node is um, getting a few parameters which is uh, the uh, R one is uh, RGBA then UV and uh, its placement value the output will be UV so we can plug it into the UV of the texture we want to uh, let's say to apply this uh, displacement on it and um, the RGBA will be um, uh, and let's say uh, uh, the effect of the displacement so uh, when you see over here the um, effect of the the waves is doing uh, as well a uh, displacement on the background let's say texture which is the cut back we can like increase the value and see the effect um, increasing and uh, uh, as you see over here uh, there is uh, a big uh, displacement. Let's put it value of 10 and you can see now it is very uh, uh, visual and you can see uh, the displacement over here, here and uh, everywhere. So uh, let's do that. Okay. So let's go back to uh, Unity. Let's close our shader graph. And um, when we are creating a new folder, let's say under the root folder, asset folder. Okay, so um, we'll name it as displacement UV. Let's create folder called script. And let's create our uh, C sharp script. Let's call it displacement UV tutorial. And let's open it okay so here is our uh, class mm, so uh, as we did in the last uh, part we uh, I mean tutorial will be uh, try to find out um, a similar node for the uh, displacement uh, UV so uh, we'll go back to the uh, unity uh, shader graph uh, the uh, API uh, code and um, we'll uh, go to the uh, add node in this link I will be sharing the link um, within the description below and so this is the add node how it is done the code of it so we will be copying and then let's go back to Visual, Visual Studio and then let's paste it Okay, so here is our um, add node. It is, uh, sim I mean, more simple than the other one which we been working on it in the last tutorial. So uh, this uh, add node is uh, inheriting from uh, this uh, code function uh, node uh, abstract class, uh, which is, um, I think there is um, a tutorial in the uh, Unity website which is saying uh, how to uh, make a custom node using this uh, abstract class which is this um, tutorial I think uh, it's uh, like explaining how you can uh, make your own uh, custom node you can uh, check it and be uh, sharing the link within the, um, uh, the description below so we can have a look at uh, 
we'll continue now with our uh, uh, node, uh, I mean, uh, uh, our uh, displacement UV node. Uh, so let's start. Uh, first of all, we we'll change the names. Let's put it under. Um, uh, actually, I put under another uh, folder, which is called, let's put gold effect. And then displacement UV tutorial. Okay. Also, we'll need to change the class name so as per the file uh, name. UV tutorial. So here is the name. Okay. Then we need to change the node name. Okay, how it is appearing in the Unity Shader Craft. We'll put the same as in here. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is the uh, help link. We'll not need to change it. And here we'll also change the name of the uh, shader function. We'll name it. We can we can like name it same like in here, but we have to to change it because uh, it will be not uh, so it will be not uh, matching with the uh, constructor um, name. Yes. Yeah, we have to copy it and name this function the same. Then we'll have to uh, define the, uh, let's say, the, uh, uh, the parameters. So the first one will be our GPA. This is a vector four. So we need to import. Um, let me copy it from the other node. Let's go back to the data uh, nodes actually. So it will be yeah, Unity Engine will be. Uh, Need to import this, so uh, we'll be able to use vector four, vector three, and two. So the second parameter will be the UV input, so it will be vector two. Two, yeah. We call it UV. The third one will be, I mean, the export will be also a vector two. Uh, the output actually, the two as well. So we have the three parameters uh, parameters over here, and we'll be uh, initializing the the output. So it will be, uh, we can use it over here as a vector two. So we we'll go to vector two point zero. Okay. The function will be uh, a sim very simple. It will be a lerp between the original UV and the original UV plus. the RGBA will take only the RG from that 
and this one will be multiplied by the displacement value so which is called uh, here I think we missed the displacement uh, input actually it's three input parameters and one output so we'll be adding the displacement value this will be the second And this will be the third slot, let's say. And here we call it displacement. Yeah. And let's go with this. And the, this will be multiplied by the displacement value. Okay. So here is our uh, function. Uh, let's have a check. Uh, we change the name of the class as uh, as per uh, we said displacement UV tutorial in the constructor. And uh, we changed the name of the shader function. We added the, let's say, the uh, input parameters. And the output, we fixed the output. And we, uh, we did the, the lerp. Okay. Actually, here it's not multiplic multiplication, I missed something. We, we, we need to, uh, the lerp is um, getting three parameters. The first parameter will be the UV. The second parameter is the displaced UV. And the third parameter is the, um, the alert value, which is the displacement. So now I think it's fine. We can save this. And then let's go back to our uh, Unity shader graph. Let's give it some time to uh, compile the and the new class okay let's go back let's open the shader graph okay so here is our uh, cut back and we'll replace this with the new node which is uh, recreated uh, right now we'll go under we put under go actually we have to now um, Actually, uh, I should have been uh, named as FX, so it would be only one. Let's, let's do that. Let's fix that. So here it's FX, not FX. Let's save it. Back. Good compile. Okay. Let's bring our new node. Scroll FX. Here is our uh, displacement tutorial. Here is our node. So it is similar to this one. Um, it's uh, getting uh, RGBA and UV and uh, displacement uh, value. Actually, we we did here um, a mistake, which is we put it. Uh, we 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 have uh, uh, put the displacement uh, as a vector too. Which is um, it should be only one single value as a vector one. So uh, let's fix, let's fix, it, uh, fix that. Fix this. Go back. This should be a vector one. Or it can be a float. Okay. There's no difference. Let's bring our node again. Yeah, now it is uh, fixed. Let's um, use it. 
So we link the original UV to the uh, UV input. The RGBA of the wave effect will link it to the RGBA input. Then we'll be linking the output to our UV. Yeah. Now we have uh, no more displacement. We'll need to uh, put the value which is we want to use. Actually, um, in here, when we put three like the, um, the same value like we put in the other one, it will be very much, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, uh, the value of the displacement is very big because, um, if, uh, in this, uh, node, I used to divide the value of the displacement by 100. So I will be uh, not, um, let's say, uh, putting a very small value like 0 0.03. I'll, I can put 3 instead of that and it will be uh, working fine. So uh, let it compile. It will be fixed right now. It should be actually fixed. Yeah, as you see over here, it is fixed. And we have uh, displacement. It's working fine. We can, uh, I can increase the volume and see the effect. Uh, see over here, this placement is working over here as well. So let's keep it at three. Yeah. So uh, we are done with the displacement uh, custom node. Uh, it's very simple. You can uh, do it and use it uh, for yourself. Thank you for the follow-up uh, with this uh, tutorial, and see you on the next one.